Hi everyone, um, I wonder how you're going? It's Kim Dunn here from Positive Young Minds. So, as promised, I'm back today to have a look at some books, given it's book week. And I was looking through my library of books and decided I'd love to share some of my favourite, what I call bunny books, with you. Now, a lot of the clients I see, their children have difficulty with what we call emotional regulation. So with managing the hard emotions, whether it's anger or sadness, um, and you know, these are abstract concepts. Sometimes they're really difficult for kids, and particularly primary school kids, to understand. Um, and one of the ways that we can help this is through books. So this series, some of you may be familiar with, um, they're about a little bunny. And each book shows, has the same sort of pattern in it. It talks about the emotion and gives examples and then says what the bunny does about it. Now, another thing about these books is that they're furry. So the kids love picking up these books and feeling the fur of the bunny. And they're also raised as well. So look, the best way to um, show you what these books are about is to read some. So there's a whole range of emotions and this particular one is about when I'm feeling sad. All right, so here's our sad little bunny. Right, let's have a go. When I'm feeling sad, I feel like someone has taken all the colors away and everything is gray and gloomy and droopy. When I'm feeling sad, I feel like I could cry and cry and cry so much that I make a flood. I want to crawl into bed and pull the covers over my head and stay there until the sadness goes away. Mm -hmm. Some things make me really sad, like when I hear mum and dad arguing or when I am sick and my body doesn't work properly or when someone or something I love dies. It's okay to let yourself feel sad, but it could help to talk to someone about it. Sharing your feelings can sometimes make you feel better. When I'm feeling sad, I try to be kind and gentle to myself. I like to soak in a big bubble bath or listen to my favorite music. Sometimes just being with friends and family makes me feel better, even if I don't want to talk. But the nicest feeling of all is when a kind person gives me a hug and says, everything is going to be okay. So this is sad. We also have angry and we also have happy and a whole range of emotions. So, but what I like about the book, you can see it gives some examples of when you might be feeling sad and then it normalizes it. It lets your child know it's okay to feel these emotions. Then it gives some examples of what perhaps might help. And you can jump in here and expand on these with your child about the special things they might do when they feel sad. So, there you go, that's just, um, one example. Now there's a whole range of books that deal with emotions. Now I'm not going to read them, but I want to show you this one. Julius, the baby of the world. Now this is a book that talks about um, what happens when this new little baby comes into the picture. What does the big sister do? It's quite an engaging book. Um, it's an old one, but it's still available. So, um, Yeah, look, if you want to challenge me, Send me out something that your child um, might have difficulty with and I'll see if I can come up with a book that might be able to help. If you're looking at this um, after it's been live, feel free to you know mention this in a comment because I'll go back and have a look. So that's it for me for today. So once again, Kim Dunn from Positive Young Minds where we work with you to create wonderful adults in our society. So. Have a great rest of the day and I'll talk to you again tomorrow with a different take 
on books on this great week that is book week okay bye for now